Are you thinking you're too old to get into cybersecurity, to break into cybersecurity, or find that next job in cybersecurity? Well, me and my gray hairs here are here to help you understand that you can break into this business. Hello, my friend, Brandon here with Dion Training, and I'm gonna share seven tips with you in this video that will help you break into cybersecurity no matter what your age is. So I want you to know that your age is an asset. It's not a barrier. Companies need people like you. You have life experience. Maybe you worked in another career field for 20 years. Look at all of those skills you can bring to a company. That's why I wanna share these seven tips with you. Tip number one that I wanna share with you is that soft skills really matter. Listen, cybersecurity is not all about technology. It's about communications. All throughout my career, I've always communicated with system administrators, managers, executives, and so on. You have that skill because you've been around a while, you've worked in a career for a while, you can leverage this skill to help you break into cybersecurity. Take a minute and write down what those soft skills are, whether it's written and verbal communications, project management, team leadership, and so many other skills that you probably have that you may not think really matter in cybersecurity, but I promise you they do. Tip number two that I want to share with you is to create a roadmap. I want you to create a roadmap for success of whatever that might look like for you. Now listen, cybersecurity is huge. There's a lot of things to do between incident response, coding, hacking, you name it. But we have to start somewhere. Small wins equals big momentum in this case. Write down what you want to do in the next week, in the next month, in the next year, and what you want to accomplish to help you move forward to starting your career in cybersecurity. Tip number three that I want to share with you is to pick a niche area. Listen, cybersecurity is very, very vast. There's a lot of things we can do in it. So what I want you to do is narrow down your focus. Think about things you're interested in or maybe things that you've done in your past that might relate to cybersecurity and select one of those, whether it's governance, risk, and compliance, whether it's application security, network security, and so many other things that we can choose from. But pick one thing and focus on that. Work on it for a week or two. If it's not interesting to you, then move on to something else but pick something and focus on that. That is gonna help set you up for success later on. Now, a great place to start is cyberseek.org and they have a few different roles already laid out for you and that will help narrow down your focus. Tip number four is a pretty obvious one. You need to get certified. This tells employers that you have knowledge and that you know your stuff. And we have plenty of options here at Dion Training. Do a little bit of research, find out if something like the CompTIA Security Plus is right for you. If you have some experience already, maybe in information technology, then maybe the CISSP is the next step for you. That's the gold standard in our industry but it's not a beginner certification. So take a look at the different certifications that might be out there, select the one that's right for you, and then go ahead and start working on that as you progress towards getting your career started in cybersecurity. Tip number five is to learn by doing. There's a lot of different free resources out on the internet right now where you can actually learn cybersecurity hands-on for free. You can go to Try Hack Me, Hack the Box. There's a lot of vendors like Cisco, Amazon, and so on that offer free courses that give you hands-on experience that will teach you skills that you need to break into the industry. And that brings me to tip number six. Once you have all these things put together, I want you to tailor your resume and your LinkedIn profile for the job that you want. So remember when I was saying to specify your niche and focus on a niche? Well, this is what we're doing. This lets employers know that you are focused on this niche area. General applications will get ignored. So if your resume is general, if your LinkedIn profile is general, you will get overlooked. We wanna narrow that focus to show them that you're serious about this field and the niche that you selected. And that brings us to my tip number seven, turn rejection into persistence. You're going to hear no a lot. It doesn't matter what age you are, how much experience you have, how much education you have. We've all heard no. I've heard it so many times in my career and so many other people have as well. But here's the thing, use this to your advantage. So whenever you apply for a job and you get rejected for that job, ask that employer for feedback. What did I do wrong? What can I do better? How would I qualify for this position just that much better? Some will share that information with you, some won't. But at least if you ask, the worst they can say is, no. And if they provide some feedback, that can help you get that much better. So turn rejection into persistence. If you persist and you continue and reshape your resume, focus on your skills, grow those skills just a little bit more, you will eventually find what you're looking for and you will get that first job or that next job in cybersecurity and that will help propel your career forward that much more. So there you have it. Those are my seven tips for how to break into cybersecurity, regardless of your age. The only thing that's holding you back is your willingness to put in effort, learn, try, and apply. And once you're told no, just turn that rejection into persistence and keep persisting. Something will happen for you. So I hope you found something valuable in this video and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.